are you a a high performance shredder that wants the very best uh, high performance board to shred on or are you b uh, someone that's looking to become the aforementioned high performance shredder um, and want the very best board to help you on that journey or secret answer c um, are you someone average surfer that just wants a really good shortboard to put in some of those big turns like all the other shredders that have got these um, when it's it's your moment it's your day you're feeling good and you kind of just want to do that that style of surfing this is the one the js monster 10 so js's pinnacle high performance shortboard it's designed to work in a wide range of conditions so anything from kind of waist high to six to eight foot waves you can you will be able to make this board work although depending on kind of how you surf and what you want this board for is going to dictate how it's going to really work for you it is capable of excelling in any of those conditions um, but depending on the surfer it's kind of more going to forge how and where you're going to use a board like this js would describe this as a medium rocker it's a medium high performance rocker so it's quite a lot of curve in the board it's it's actually based off the same rocker as the Monster 2020. This was something that um, JS was really excited about. Um, I went down to France for a, a meeting with the guys from JS and this is just when he developed that Monster 2020 rocket. It really um, kind of come across something pretty magic. Basically, um, it really widened the sweet spot on the board and they found that it was actually making uh, the Monster 2020 at the time a lot more forgiving and a lot more user-friendly for people. So that's something that's been incorporated into this Monster 10 in the, the same way as, as that uh, Monster 2020 rocker. Um, obviously, outline plan shape, squash tail, pointy nose, high performance shortboard. That's kind of what we'd expect there. Uh, medium rails, again, this has been designed just to give you that nice bit of forgiveness and kind of suit this board to a wide range of surfers and a wider range of conditions as well. On the bottom, it's a single to double concave. Um, Again, pretty standard stuff for these kind of this kind of high performance board, but it's the combination and the blend of all these features that just elevates this board to the, the pinnacle high performance board in the JS art artillery. So the Monster 10 is really ridden all across the world by kind of the best surfers in the world and your everyday surfer. And really it's the blend of all these features together um, that enable this board to suit such a wide range of conditions and a wide range of surfers. Um, it really is the pinnacle of high performance. And if you're looking for, for that style of board, then look no further, this is the one. Um, when it comes to fins for the Monster 10, um, pretty versatile. I would recommend using wh whichever thruster you, you normally favor, whether that's something like a performer or a carver template. Um, I know Ruben really likes the AMs in his Monster 10. I've also heard him um, say when it's small, he actually put some MRs in it, which is kind of unusual, but he's assured me that that works really, really well for him when it's kind of weaker, smaller days. So pretty versatile when it comes to the fins. So the Monster 10 is a staple for our team rider, Ruben Ash. Um, here he is, let's hear his take on it. Basically the Monster 10 for me is a very happy medium board. Um, I find it equally as good for turns as combos, barrel riding. Um, I definitely feel like it needs to be a little bit of push in the waves, but then at the same time I just mix up my fins. I'd use like a large Almeric when the waves are good and I use a MR2 plus one in smaller surf, which makes it a really good small wave board as well. Um, so the mixture of that board with a few different fin setups can be pretty much a one board quiver in England and away from anything from one foot to six foot. Um, yeah, so I, I love it. If you've got any questions on the board, feel free to pick up the phone, give us a call at the shop, uh, drop us a message, drop us an email, or pop in and get, get one of them under your arm anytime. Um, we've got plenty of stock of the Monster 10 on the racks, or always remember, it is always possible to order a custom through us, so just get in contact if that's something you're interested in.